What's good ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Black Ninja Squad, it's your boy Justin the Voice, and today we will be going through all of Anna's uh, moves um, in this game. Uh, we're going to avoid the 10 hit combos as uh, I and as well as many people don't deem them very worthy to go over in general, they're just kind of stun on these hose type of moves but uh we're gonna go through every single move uh, except for those um we want to brush on her grab strings uh she has the chin thing but we'll get to that very later in the video but without further ado let's start off with the rage art and i'm going to provide a little bit of commentary to tell you uh, my thoughts on certain things and just to be sure uh, i have everything on uh, stand and guard so we will be able to see if it is a true combo or not and I highly suggest everybody uses their practice settings like this because if you do not then you will be fooled into thinking some things are combos when they are not but anyway without further ado here we go so her first one is a rage art this is a high move which means you can duck this as well as block this uh, when I first saw this in the video when in trailer, I was very curious to see if it really was a high, and it, and it is. Um, the only other high that looks like that in this game is the, that I can think of, I'm sure there's more, but the only one I can think of right now is a geese, but geese's is an unblockable high, so that's a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure how good this is, and the only reason why I say that is because after you get a combo off, um, I, I don't I don't know how consistent it will be um, when we're talking about um, like an ender right so get him in the air go like this and then hit him with this okay so it does hit alright well there you go we're figuring this out live so just because it's a high does not mean that it's not gonna hit so uh, I don't know the only, only real issue I think I would have with this is the fact that you can totally duck under this um, and that's dangerous uh, because I'm pretty sure if you do, let's see, um, let's hold on, let's let's have him record. I'm gonna have him record something for me. So we're gonna no, not for the move list. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna duck and then boom. Yeah. So let's see let's see what happens here. Um, oh wow. Does this hit while they're crouching? Wait, that hits while they're crouching? Are you for real? Wow, you can't duck that? Wow, okay, I take back everything I just said. This move is pretty good, okay. Moving on. <laughs> wow, we can power it. All right, okay. Uh, her rage dive. Oh wow, that is an insane launcher. We'll get to that move later. This move is, hold on, not that one. That move is pretty cool. That move is also pretty cool. We'll get to that later. But uh, that's her rage uh, drive. And it looks pretty cool. Definitely, like, it's just, you know, it's a combo combo starter. Uh, so, kind of big fan. You know, looks cool. For whatever reason, it's not there it is. Yeah, I can get behind that. I can definitely get behind that. All right, uh, we're gonna turn off rage so we can get some pretty decent numbers here going. So next one, uh, just your left right combo. Uh, uh, as usual, that is not a true combo. However, I do believe that you're probably gonna get all three hits out uh, as long as you mix it up with the next one that we're gonna go over, but just the roundhouse version of this. So as long as you keep you know the pressure going this seems like a like a one two three that you're definitely gonna get um, this less more so but um, to probably use that like in some combos or whatnot but yeah uh, probably not optimal but that's not what we're here to do right now uh, we're just here going through the stuff uh, uh, uh. Uh, that is a launcher that she has um, let's look at this one counter hit actually so on counter hit, this still isn't a true 
three hit by the way the first the four and five they're still not true uh combos even on counter hit so just to let you guys know that uh this one is a launcher though uh, we're gonna have him stand just real quick for this one yeah just so you can see that that is a launch um but it is obviously as you know not a true combo uh, this is just a little mix up where you can just go for the low instead um that is a little just that's very interesting actually this is a high low that is actually a true combo and you don't need to do it on counter hit it doesn't do anything special on counter hit but uh yeah it's a true combo so her one four uh, probably gonna expect to see a lot of people use that that's another one of her launches it's just it's the same as this except it's uh, a little quicker as her her one two one four this is just her two one four just get straight to the point right so and it actually reacts differently when you do it on the combo like that so while when you do the one two one four on the air hold on if i can do it correctly my apologies oh wow yeah you have to delay it a little bit you have to let them come down a little bit more yeah So you can get like a little something on wake up for that, but for this one, oh, if you're not as bad as me, okay, you can still get a little bit. All right, well, you know, uh, this is gonna be a little bit different. So that one's gonna give you a little more uh, traversal speed, if you will. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, we're not there yet. So. Uh, Two one four. That's what that does. Cool. Uh, this is another one. Once again, the two one string is pretty much just the one two one, but it's just shorter. Um, and this is another example of that because it's literally the same low. Uh, two three is another true combo. Right there. Uh, you don't need counter hit for it. Actually, you know what? I'm very curious. Let's see if you need counter hit. If you get counter hit on the two one stuff. Whoops. Yeah, it still it still doesn't hit. Yeah, all right, but uh, two three, true combo. Um, we're gonna see a lot of this. This is the chaos judgment. Uh, we'll get to that later, but there's a few ways that you can set up with it, and most of them deal with um uh, a string ending with uh, a three button, and we'll get into a couple more later. Uh, but yeah, that's just what that is. Uh, that's a little roundhouse. That is not a true combo. However, on counter hit, it is. And it does a little cork spin for you. So that's pretty cool. Jab sweep. Once again, this is another one of those that's not a true combo, but you're probably going to get these off unless they're, unless you're doing this a lot or they're predicting it. Um, you're probably going to get it a lot. Um, this is definitely uh, something that you're going to see people do. Ooh, I like that. Um, yeah, this is actually a really cool uh, sh string right there. I like that string a lot. Um, it seems like it could be like an in-betweener for um, a combo, or, like a combo or something. Like get them in the air, hit them with that, keep them in the air to then do your combo ender or whatever. Uh, maybe go into like a quarter circle forward thing. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty decent move. Um, on counter hit, still does not. But the two threes will go off regardless. So, just know that. Um, this is, so combo spike, or spike combo, we're going to see a lot coming out of this. Uh, the three three thing. This is just another one of them. Uh, I think you can delay that last hit or maybe not yeah you can't really delay it all that much uh, so there's going to be another version of this move right here of headbringer um, this one hits high high and just remember that um, because the other version will hit mid high and we'll get to that later on uh, in the video but 
this one is a high high and it's a true combo I think this is insane just like for a neutral game like just neutral game like high high and it's a true combo that's pretty insane you can probably duck it and punish it pretty well uh, but once again, this is a hit confirm, so you can you can not press that third hit if you see that they're gonna uh, duck it. I'm not sure how safe it is. You probably can still get punished, but maybe not launch punished off of it. But it's still pretty good. Okay. Uh, right high low. Yep. Just a high low mix up. She has a few of these. Um. Mm -mm, this is a true combo. Uh, um, on counter hit, it just—it looks like it just pushes them back a little bit more than if it didn't. No, it's about the same distance. So, another one of her one-two stuff that's just going to be a true combo. She has a lot of these. This is another setup for a ju for a chaos judgment, and it's just like her. Uh, just to let you guys see, she just like kind of dashes it forward, um, kind of like. Um, Who's uh who's the homegirl? Kazuya? Kazumi? Whatever her name is. But this one actually hits instead of just like a glide. But it kind of looks like that. Also, Eliza has something like this as well. Uh, but it's just a little dash forward knee. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, this is a true hit comp. Yeah, this is another one of one twos. It just hits and that's a true combo. Yeah. Um... That's a pretty good move, in my opinion. It will not reach out that far. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, what was that thing that we were looking at? So, yeah, right there, right? So maybe we go like this. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. And then go like that afterwards, maybe. What was it? It was that. Yeah. Maybe let's try that out. Let's see if that hits. Come on now, work with me. Alright, I probably have to be quicker on the draw. Slow on the draw for that. Jesus Louise. Oh wow. Maybe not. Or maybe I'm just really bad at the game. Well, obviously that's the case, but... Maybe just stop that at the game. I have to delay that a little bit more. Not that more. Wow. Slip through my chinny chin chin. Maybe not. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think that would hit. Which is unfortunate. We're gonna try it one more time. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not gonna hit. Um, but I mean, I'm sure it's gonna hit on some air combo. Somebody's gonna figure out um, that's smarter than me. But this is just a knockback thing. Uh, pretty good. Uh, this right here. Um, we're gonna see a couple setups for this, or not setups. We're gonna see a couple of different versions for this. Um, but this is just the basic one, the bomb bomb. Um, that is not her armor move, by the way. Uh, the bomb bomb. That is not her armor move. This is just a hard hitting move. Oh, maybe you can do it off of this. Nope. Uh, on to the next one. After that, just scoring. Hips don't lie, homegirl, you feel me? Uh. Um, what does this do on counter hit? Just curious. Nope, not that. It looks like it just hits them a little further, right? Yeah, it looks like they go flying when it's on counter. Or maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, I think on counter hit, it like hits them all the way back. Right? That's more distance than on regular, right? Or my, yeah, that's way more distance. So counter hit, that just looks like it just goes way further. I wonder if it's the same thing for this. So that's the blonde bomber again. That's how far it goes on that, and on counter hit, kind of a little bit further. She, he's right about there, and for that one, I mean, it's about the same. Yeah, it's actually the same. All right, next one. Uh, 
Ooh, yes. We're going to be in this uppercut jab uh, combination for a little bit. So this is a little important for her, it seems like. I'm not sure. Yeah. So that's the first one. Um, like I said before, with all of her three ending strings, you're going to go into There's going to be a way to go inside of Chaos Judgment with those. So this is just another way. Um, and you just hold back after the three and it's going to cancel it out so you can get them a little mix up and then we'll get into what the chaos judgment does later but there's a few mix up options that you can go off of that one um, but yes uh, let's see if it like counter hit nope still just the one two thing um, and so that's for that one this is the new one it's like a little crescent cut uh, um, counter hit this one corkscrews them, by the way, um, and I can show you guys that. Yeah, it just corkscrews them a little bit. Um, on to the next one, step an uppercut. I mean, you've already seen me do that before. It's her, it's her down forward too. Every character, most characters, I think all characters have it. But anyway, um, so this is the one case where. Um, the chaos judgment is not going to be going into or it's not a string that's ending with a three for the chaos judgment it, it's still a faint though so you're canceling the one so if you didn't cancel the one what this would look like was that right but if you cancel the one by pressing back it's going to go like to that right so it's, a, it's still a little bit of a mix up and it's still like a three string it starts with three instead of ending with three but that's what that is uh, She has a lot of down forward stuff, is what I was noticing when I was uh, playing with her yesterday. Um, yeah, and this is just another one of them. Um, on counter hit, yeah, it's still a no-go. Yeah, so this is a very interesting string. Okay, so this seems like it's going to be a combo thing. Yeah, like for sure a combo thing. Ooh, okay. Um, anyway, digress. Uh, so this one's very interesting, right? So it think about this move in like two parts. Do three two, and then do four two, and that's how you're gonna be able. No, do uh, th three one four. Do three one four. Wait for that four, and then do the two. Because if you don't and you do it like a regular thing, that four, that last button, that two, is not going to come out. So you have to wait for that hit. You have to wait for that hit from the last attack to go. Um, counter hit, and it's still the kind of the same, right? It doesn't really. That last hit is actually going to miss every single time, if I remember correctly. Um, which kind of makes that very interesting. So in the air, if you happen to do this in the air, that last that last two hit is going to miss every single time, regardless. Oh wow! Come on! Oh, that's because I'm pressing the wrong button. Yeah, it's just they're just going to go over it. Um, I, there might be a way to delay it, um, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there's actually a couple moves that are not in a move list. Um, just to go over a few of them, this jumping thing. Uh, there's a couple versions of it. There's one if you delay it, you get a low, and if there's one that if you do it like in the air, you get a mid that's gonna get them in a crumble state. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can combo after that. Yeah, you can definitely combo after that. But anyway, I digress. Um, that's sh those are two moves. The other one is her parry. For whatever reason, her parry is not in this game. Um, it's not in the move list, but I mean, we're not that surprised, are we? Because there's a lot of things that are missing from a lot of people's move list, but 
what are you going to do about it? Anyway, we digress. Here we go. Um, leg slicer. Oh, whoops. Oops. Uh, so it's three, one, four, two, three. delay that second hit so that's the meme uh, getting it out and this is me delaying it a little bit yeah you can delay it just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit whoa come on now uh, let's cut them pressing the wrong button haha -ha. yeah that's what that is all right next And that's what that is. It's just like a. It's just a. Yeah. Um, but once again, because that fourth hit is gonna miss, I'm not sure how valuable uh, these will be for um, combo landers um, or just combo things in general. Um, so you got here. All right. See, like it, it, it's it's all gonna miss because because of that fourth hit miss, they're just gonna fall under. Maybe I'm timing it incorrectly. Um, maybe there's a way to delay it even more, and so that the fourth hit that two is gonna hit. But as of right now, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I digress. And that's that. Just a high version of that. Just keep them mixed up. Um, this is the blonde bomber version of it. All right. Um, step it just goes into her wave dash right because she 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 has a quarter circle forward motion so let's keep that in mind uh, we'll get into those later but from there uh, the answer is uh, yes you can get into her uh, hold on. let's go back to it um, yes, you can get into her wave dash stuff from here. So just for example, uh, her core circle four four looks like that, and just so that you know, her wow rising looks like that. Her wow wow rising four looks like that. So that's how you know there's a difference. But yeah, that's her. Just to show you, um, so you can just go into that right there, right? It's just a transition move. Um, And that's just another launcher for her. That one hits for sure. That's pretty good. Um, uh, the down version of that. It's kind of similar to um, that one two that one two one stuff, right? Uh, where you have the different enders. Oh wait, I'm meant to do the down one. So it's the high one, and that's the low one. Interesting. Uh, so that's what that looks like. Uh, goes into the roundhouse. Counter hit still no go. But those two will definitely hit all the time. Let's go into that. Oop. So she has a lot of ver. So this is a, another example, and if you're catching on to the pattern, then good on you. But she has a lot of. Uh, 
she has a lot of low like low ending versions of the same string so she has a lot of repeats where it's the same beginning but it's a different ending and the only difference is that the ending is uh, it's a low so like that one for example you have uh, Yeah, that. That's something different. Actually, you know what? That's also not in the move list, if I remember correctly. But that's uh, that's another string that she does. No clue why it's not, but. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, just know that about her. Um, that's that. Three strings um, does pretty good for combo stuff. But I'm sure this is more of a, like a pressure tool sort of thing. Oh yeah. So instead of doing the th down forward three three one for the combo, if you're gonna do one of those, I would suggest do this one instead, uh, just because it goes into that corkscrew. And by the way, all of these hit. Like you don't need counter hit for those three kicks to hit. So she has a lot of guaranteed hits if you can just get the one off. She's a pretty decent offensive character. This is the other head ringer that I was talking about, uh, if you remember previously. But this one starts with the mid, then goes with the high, as opposed to the high into the high. Um, I would probably suggest using that one, this one more than the other one, just because this one seems more safe, uh, because they won't be able to duck that initial hit, right? And it it does essentially it does the same damage and it does well it's one less damage but I mean who's counting right boom it does the same thing and it's a little more safe uh, just because they won't be able to duck the high the first high they'll have to eat it or block it uh, so that's just a, a cheeky low that she has this is a guard break this is a very interesting move it gets them off balance. I'm not sure what this does against the wall. Um, like whether it's like a, a weird wall splat sort of thing. Kind of like what King's like chest, like the chest check thing that he does. But this move is very, very interesting. Um, I'll be very curious to see what the smart Ana players out there uh, figure out what to do with that. Uh, I am genuinely curious to see what this move is all about. Uh, moving on. Her first like one two hit thing that's not a true combo. Uh, but on counter hit, I think this is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. on counter hit it is. Um, icicle. I mean it's a pretty damn cool move. It's a cool looking move. I'm not sure how useful it will be in a neutral, but who cares? It looks really cool. And it looks super unsafe too, like Oh, it puts him in a crouching stance on block. That's pretty cool. And gets him staggered. Interesting. Okay, I can go with that. Um, another low into a mid sort of thing. This one launches. It's a little too slow on the draw. Uh, it only launches on counter hit though. Um, so just to show you. I think it only launches on counter. Let's find out together. So, oh no, it just launches in general. Oh wow, that's that's pretty insane. Okay. I'd rather be wrong now than later. And that's why you're watching this video with me, or y'all watching this video to find me be wrong. All right, cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, up next, we have her boom boom. Just a little mix-up game that she has. Uh, low, high, mid. 
you know, it's a slap combo. You're either gonna use it or you're not. I mean, you know. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at here. Okay, your boy likes, okay. Oh, that'd be cool. Maybe if I move on just like a tad bit closer, maybe that'll work. That's pretty cool though. I like that. I like this a lot actually. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. It does no damage, but that looks really cool. All right, cool. I like that. I like this a lot actually. Actually, you know what? It's a reset. That's a reset. That's not a, that's not a, that's, a, oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting, very interesting. All right, okay, I can get with that. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's a reset. All right, cool. I can get with that one. Um, let's see what this is about. Okay. Looks like it does a little, like, displacement uh, on the second hit. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Looks like it's easy, like how, actually even on block it seems like a little displacement. See how they're like, kind of like sliding uh, to their right, our left. So, I don't know, very interesting. Um, you can go into chaos stance with this, but it's going to cancel the one. So that's a cool little mix up thing that you can do there. So if you catch them, not eating their breakfast and not getting them lows. Boom, just just get them with that. But we'll get into that later. Um, this is her unblockable. I mean, you're either gonna use it or you're not. <laughs> we can do it again because it does look really cool. Uh, yeah. Um, this is boom, Scarlet Spout. Pretty cool kind of hit. It does nothing extra. This looks really cool. It uh, spikes them down if they're in the air, though. That's very interesting. And there's a little flip, little pancake flip afterwards. Um, a counter hit, though. Okay, all right. This is a slow sweep that she has, or a knockdown. That's not it. It's this right here. Um, I'm not sure how unsafe this is on block. Uh, we can find that out right now. Um, hold on, that's not what I want to do. This is what I'm about to say. Yeah, we'll just do that. Alright, yeah. Alright, cool. So let's find out how unsafe this is on block. So, ha! Huh. Are they. Oh, uh, I don't think I had them actually blocking. I was gonna do that. Let's see what we're working with here. So, uh oh. So it's actually not that unsafe. That's actually pretty crazy. Interesting. It's actually not that unsafe. Oh, uh, I'm I'm timing that one poorly. So let's just. And then hit that. Yeah, it's actually not that unsafe. Cool. Alright. Uh, on to the next one. Nope. Yep. Uh, that's Mud Slap. Um, this is pretty cool. 
Um, this little Sabir Quake. Um, there's another version of this that's actually really cool that I like. This right there, I'm a big fan of that one. Oh, wow, yeah, that looks really cool. Yeah, big fan of that. Counter hit. It will hit. Um, you'll probably catch some people with that. Because if you're able to mix them up with that, they could, they're going to go low again. They're going to bite it. Um, this is not sweet. Uh, that is her armor move in the game. It is a serious B slap. So you're either going to like that or you're not. Here's This move is very interesting. So it's down back 3 plus 4 is 3. Um, the interesting thing is it only sweeps when you do the three command afterwards. If you do not, it does not it does not sweep regardless of counter hit or not. So you have to do the follow through if you want to get that sweep. Otherwise, you'll just get them in a stagger look. And you can do some wild rising stuff. Um, a rising two is pretty good. because it's a launcher but yeah that that is very interesting just to let you guys know that that this only sweeps if you do the follow-up which means as of right now she doesn't have a true sweep the only true sweep that she has is that um, so So, you know. Hmm. Curious. Now that last hit's gonna miss. Alright, anyway. Uh, that's a pretty cool string. It gives you a... Uh, looks like you can delay that last hit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Doesn't give you any uh, crouching status though, so you're still technically standing. I mean, it's a double slap and it's a true combo. Who's not? What Ana player is not going to use this? Come on now. I mean, this move is too cool. It's. I mean, it's her. It looks like it's a. Ho yeah, it's a homie move too. I mean, come on now. Come on now. Come on. You gotta use that. Um, this is just goes straight into Chaos Judgment. Uh, during Chaos Judgment, we're going to see some options. So you have this right here. Um, you have this right here. The reason why they suggest you do that, because it's a true combo. So why wouldn't you do the one afterwards? Um, that's just a mid kick. So, you know. Um, we'll get into a launcher from Judgment. This seems the judgment launch like uh, setups. There's one that's a launcher that seems pretty difficult to get a chaos. Like it goes into chaos stance after you launch them, and it seems insanely difficult to get anything else after that. Um, but uh, don't let me tell you. Uh, you guys can figure that out later as well. Um, and you can. And this is obviously this is me going through uh, her move list and just basic tutorial stuff. So. Take everything I say with a grain of salt, and you should test all of this by yourself. This is her sweep from the judgment thing, by the way, her chaos judgment. Uh, it's pretty good. I can probably, I can definitely get with this. Um, it doesn't look like you can follow it up with any of her while rising moves, um, except for her two. But I don't know if you can do the two one follow up. Yeah. Actually, I think that was the one. Wait, can what can you even get off of this? Yeah, you can just get a wild rising two from that, and that's about it. Maybe you'll be able to get this off if like they're slow on the get up, but we'll get to that move later. Like obviously, like little sweeps or whatever. But um, it's a little knockdown. Maybe this? No, because you need to go into chaos for that. Um, yeah, the only the only reason why I say you probably can't get anything guaranteed after that 
is because of the fact that it's what the hell was that? What the hell did that just do? Oh, all right, whatever. Um, yeah, it, it because it keep, it puts you in a crouching stance after this slide, so your move set is limited already. Um, but I don't know. I don't know where you'll be able to get off of this. This just seems like a cheeky low, in my opinion, that you'll be able to get off. Um, oh. All right. Sorry about that. Um, that's a true combo. I mean, what else do you want from her? It's a pretty cool move. Not sure how many people you'll be able to get that off on, um, because you do have to go off the judgment step for it. But um, I mean, it looks pretty damn cool. I think this is the better four move, in my opinion, off of this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a launcher. What, do, what else do you want from her? So this just goes into the roll. From the roll, you can do a couple things. I think it goes, yeah, yeah, yeah it goes into what you can do. So, um, first one is uh, a three. And that's just gonna hit like this. We can see it right here. It's gonna give them a crumple state. So you can do as you wish from there. That's 52 damage off of a roll. What else do you want from her? Like that's that's insanely good. I mean, come on now. What else do you want from her? Come on, that's 52 damage. This seems like it's a little more difficult to combo off of. Um, maybe you should do like a hop kick sort of thing, or like hit them with like a like a jab string. pretty good um, yeah I like that uh, rusty hook she has another homie move I think on counter hit is when it yeah it doesn't even really screw drive it's just a good counter hit it's just a good um, mid homie move because it I mean they fall down but it does, it's not a screwdriver though who cares? Um, catapult kick. I mean, it's pretty good. So be careful not to do that, which is what I was doing. You want to just go for the straight up because those are two different moves. Yeah. Just the cat and that, that looks like there is a back one, so. This probably has some, some insane evasion properties, so this is probably going to be like a, a game-breaking uh, move that nobody uses that's pretty good. Uh... Oh wow, so on counter hit, um, you're going to get all of these, but it, or not on counter hit, you're never going to get that second hit. Um, that's pretty cool though. I like that. Actually, isn't this her, uh, isn't that, uh, her rage drive? I'm not tripping. No, I'm, yes. Yes, I am tripping. Is the answer to that. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool looking move. Yeah, so, not on counter hit, you're not even going to get the second hit off. So, you know, this is some, that's, this is some good whip punish stuff. Because it has a little bit of distance on the first hit, so you, you know, you backdash out of it, and then, 
and then you just got him. Um, it looks like if you whiff the second hit, the first hit, the second and third hit will come out as a true combo. That's pretty interesting. But, uh, that's the move that we saw already. This was in a string before we even saw it here, so, you know. Um, this looks like a, just a pretty good... Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is the move right here. This somersault kick, dude. This move looks sick. I think this, I think this is guaranteed afterwards. Um, I don't think there's anything they can do about that. Um, obviously you can do other stuff. Uh, but yeah. That's, if you're, if you're looking just to stun on them, uh, that, that, that right there is guaranteed. Um, this is a pretty good move too. It's pretty cool. Um, it's an insanely good name. So you already know I'm a fan of it. So this is another one of our homie moves. I think that makes the third or fourth one, if I remember correctly. But she, yeah, she has a few. It's actually a pretty good Oki. This is actually an insanely good pressure tool. Because you're plus. Yeah. So if you notice, so you can see it at the bottom right now with our feet. You're actually plus on this move. So you can see that I'm not blue anymore. And the blue, if you're not uh, familiar with what the training mode thing is, the blue just means that you're not able to press a button. You're still in recovery frames. Um, if you're highlighted in blue, that's what that meant. So right now, I'm not in hot. I, I, this is plus. This move is plus. That's a pretty. This is a pretty good pressure tool. Um, so if they start blocking and you just want to be a jerk for a little bit, but like I said, this is... Yeah, that's a pretty good Oki move. Yeah, I like that. Um, so this is, uh, we're just gonna get into this one. So this is what I was talking about. That's that, this is that launcher I was talking about that goes into uh, the chaos thing. I'm not sure, once again, um, I'm gonna have to test out the chaos stuff again to see how I, I I it looks like there are some single moves that are in there like this right there that are really good um, or you know like the rolling stuff I mean I was gushing over that earlier um, but just her regular buttons off of them I'm not sure how good they are um, but um I don't know we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to launch off of that afterwards anyway. But that wouldn't make any sense anyway either. Um, fall and heal. You might remember that from that right there. Where does the same move? And you go into it. This looks like a like a good Oki setup. Like, give them like a 50-50 on wake up to see what you're going to do. Um, or if they're on the wall and you're able to hit that and you get a wall splat and then you go into that, maybe you'll really get like a, um, like a two one off or like a, I don't know, some, you'll be able to get something off. Who knows though. That's that right there. We saw that earlier. We saw this earlier. This is just the open palm version and then we saw that. So they're kind of all the same thing, but obviously they do very different. So, finally we get into the quarter circle support stuff. So. Uh, so you have a one, which is that elbow right there. Um, have a two one, uh, which you saw me do earlier for like combo enders. Um, once it, wow, this is another one, sh one ender string that can cancel into her chaos judgment. So I guess her threes and her ones uh, cancel into chaos judgment. 
That's pretty cool. And you can give them a little mix up like that. Um, I mean, that's a. I mean, that's pretty good. It's a. It's a pimp slap. I mean, how you gonna get mad at that move? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm um, not sure on the. Maybe there's something else I could do for that. I don't know. There's probably something else I could do for that, but um, my brain's just not working like that right now. Uh, counter hit. Uh, counter hit. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's still a no go. It's still the one. It's just still the kicks. Um, pretty good. Yep, same thing with the previous one. Doesn't really go into it. This is what we saw earlier for four. Or while running three. Oh boy. It's just a high. It's a it's a flying high. Yeah. Actually wait, did that say mid? Oh snap, that's a mid! What? Alright, well, that's mid. That's cheap. <laughs> that's so cheap. <laughs> ah, yo. Okay. Um, just the launcher that she has. Uh, um, Alright, so three. Counter hit, not really. And go to chaos after the uh, while crouching. Oh, that's the while crouching too, actually. That's the cat thrust. I think that's what I did earlier. You know what? Now I'm thinking about it. Um, what was that one move? No. So there was a move, and I don't remember earlier what it was, where you're left and crouching, and I was wondering how good it might be. I think I think the wow crouching forward one might be really good for that as a combo ender. But I don't remember what string it was, though. Oh, yes, I do. It was this right here. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's still not that impressive, though. It's still not that impressive. Maybe this will be. Wow. I mean, it's like, you know, it's kind of like whatever. Maybe this is going to change my mind. Nope. Oh yeah, this move is pretty cool. So there's a low version of that. Um, it doesn't hit low, it still hits mid. But you'll notice why they say it's low when you see this. That goes high. That's This is super cool. I'm a big fan of that move. Um, got a sidestep move. It looks like it... Cr I, don't, I don't think it crushes high. Cause it looks like her body is still like in um, in a position where I can get hit by a high. So uh, you guys should probably test that out. Uh, heel mash, another sidestep move. She has a, another sidestep move. This one is a launcher. Um, that's pretty cool. So it knocks them all the way back though. Like this is a ser and it puts them in like a weird, it puts their body in a weird position too. So it's not that easy to combo afterwards. So maybe there's like some specific stuff that you can do after this. Um, that I'm just not privy to. So. Okay. It's pretty okay. Um, we already saw this but that's just that right there. 
Um, and once again, it's guaranteed after that, but obviously there's better things to do after that. But it is guaranteed just to let you guys know. I told you guys I'm not dealing with the 10 hit combo stuff. I'm not getting into that. Um, you can try that out on your own accord. Uh, if you so choose, and slide on down. I think there's a couple more stuff uh, that's worth mentioning. Um, so we got our grabs. So you got this right here. Kick them in the balls. That's pretty harsh. It's literally the same thing, just the forward one. You got the losing face one. It's pretty good. Um, same thing. Uh, that's that right there. Right, yeah, it's the left side, and then on the right side, hit him up. Ugh, that right there, Jesus, that looks like it hurts a lot. Uh, got a back grab. Boom. Oh man, uh, this this is a pretty good command grab right there. I'm a big fan of that command grab. I wonder how it's going to interact with walls. Um, I wonder if you're going to get like a pretty good uh, wall split afterwards. Um, but yeah, I like this. It throws them away, releases pressure, restarts pretty much. Um, and then you have to run an O-key. This move is pretty interesting. Elbow smash. It's, a, it's just a quick old side change. Because there's some characters like Asuka that have like the while you're crouching, do do, and then you hit him with a grab. But this is just a. You know. Um, okay, so it does. Oh, okay. Alright, I thought this was in the move list. Maybe I was tripping yesterday. But when I was going through a move list yesterday, I was like, yo, why is there a reversal not here? Um, but yeah. So this is her chin bash stuff. Uh, let's just go over this briefly. So that's that. Um, it has two follow-ups. Three, actually, I think. Yeah, it's three follow-ups. Um, the, so, all right, let's see how we're going. All right, so yeah, that's what that is. Um, the arm snap is a non-consecutive one. Like, there's nothing after that comes after this. It's just a, um, as it is. Get to do this pretty fast. There it is. Arm snap. Um, there's nothing that comes af afterwards. However, there's stuff that comes after this one. Um, so just remember that there's two things that come after uh, the reverse arm lock. It's the falcon wing squeeze. Actually, there's three. Um, my apologies. But the falcon. Uh, wing squeeze, the falling arm break, and then the double arm lock toss. These essentially are the same thing, um, but they do different things. Um, so we're going to go into that. Uh, yeah, let's get into that. Um, so, um, and this will be the last thing in the video. I'm not even going to attempt to go through and try to do these because um, we're going to be here all day probably. I'm gonna like, well, man, I can't get it. So we're just going to look at them real quick. So. Uh, that's the reverse arm lock. From there, you have three options. You have this option right here. Um, so that's the arm lock, and then this one, boom, just break both the arms and then they fall like that. You have this one right here. Um, I think this is the one where you toss them over your shoulder. Oh no, this is the one where they bring them down to the ground. And then from there, you can do a guaranteed stomp, I'm pretty sure. So let's try that out just real quick, just to show you guys. Um, I don't remember what the combination is. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to get the uh, that off, that little stomp off. But you can test that on your own accord if you wish. Um, and this is the last one from that. Uh, and this one is the one that tosses the, uh, them over the shoulder. So, yeah, like that into the side switch. Um, another sting option from the chin break is the arm lock. Um, and this has a couple of follow-ups as well. You have the rolling break right here. Um, looks like it's insanely painful, and it is because it's 70 Dumash. Uh, this is a 1 2 break if you want to get off of this one. Boom! And it's 68. 
Um, and then that is Anna right there. Um, I think she's really good. I genuinely enjoy her moveset, and I think that um, once you figure out how to get her combos off, you're probably going to be pretty successful online. Um, because she has a lot of guaranteed like one-two hits um, that come from highs and lows, and it's this is it's just going to frustrate the hell out of uh, the people you're playing against. Um, so yeah, I think she's going to be pretty good. Um, at minimum, I think she's going to be like high mid tier. Um, but yeah, that's Anna. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a uh, a like, comment. Please comment, uh, whether positive or negative. Uh, we definitely read all of them, and I like the conversations that we had, especially in the last video with all the stuff that I missed. So. If I missed anything in this video, please comment. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out.